All right, I had no idea, Ranger Olivia, as I mm -hmm. like to call you, that you had such talent in creating model animals for us to enjoy. Oh, did Dave show you the, the whip tail and stuff? Or? Well, you can show me, because I told <laughs> Dave, I says, I don't want to see it until Olivia shows it to me. So oh, okay. Would you like to show it to me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have a whole lot in this nature center. A lot of my work is actually at Plaster Candy Nature Center, but um, Here's the only one that's at the Devil's Punch Bowl right now, and it is a California wow. Whiptail. And all these other models were actually made in sometime in the 70s by Pat Brame, who kind of did what I did. She made a lot of displays and stuff for the county natural areas. But I added this guy because Whiptails, we've been seeing them a lot in the park. They're really neat. And this particular Whiptail, all my specimens I get from ones that have die naturally. All the lizards I've done have actually been found drowned in pools. Oh. So this guy, he, he unfortunately met his demise in my parrot's swimming pool. Oh. And so I was able to mold the poor dead lizard. I posed him naturally, made a mold, and now he's cast in resin. So there's nothing of the original lizard left here. It's all plastic, hand painted, and it will last forever. So that's kind of the benefit of models. They last a long time. I don't have to go around killing a bunch of lizards. It's just one lizard. I can make as many of them I want. <laughs>